That's right, Colette. I'm joined by the Sinn Féin finance spokesperson, Piers Doherty. Piers, this is, I think, the ninth budget that you have been the lead opposition spokesperson for. Pascal Donoghue says that he has led the country out of deficit and into surplus through crises twice. What's not to like about this budget? Well, what's missing from this budget is the big ideas. We know the government's good at splashing the cash. Look, you only have to look at the bake shelter or the security hut or, God forbid, the National Children's Hospital to see that. But what's missing here is actually dealing with the hard issues. There is no additional money here in terms of housing to increase the level of social or affordable houses that they have already targeted. That's unbelievable at a time when we have €24 billion Euro of a surplus. There's very little additional investment going into health, £120 million, where we argue that it needed to be nearly 10 times that to, ch to make the transformation that we need so that people can get seen on time, that we're not dealing with the scandal of patients in hospitals and trolleys. And if I were Finance Minister, I would have made sure that I used the resources to abolish the uh, USC on average incomes of taking the first 45,000 out of the tax net and making sure that we abolish the means test for carers and also making sure that we start the process of ending the housing crisis by making the proper investment. That's what's missing from this budget. Just on the health side, they are adding 500 more hospital beds. It's about a 3% increase next year, which is bigger than inflation is. They're also targeting so many different infrastructural issues for the Apple money, 14 billion euro going towards water and energy and other big picture issues. Surely that is in itself a plan. First of all, none of the Apple money has been allocated. They're saying that they'll think about this sometime next year. There's an election in between. And these are parties that fought tooth and nail. They spent €10 million Euro on lawyers to make sure that we never got a penny of this money. The other money that they announced, like 1.25 for the LDA, that was re-announced from last year. And it doesn't provide any additional social or affordable housing above their targets, despite the fact that their own housing commission said their targets are woeful. We needed a radical reset. Well, we'll Look, see those targets in a couple of weeks, though. What? If, unless you fund those, you can't deliver them. This was the budget to look for the funding of housing next year, and they're going with the same targets. We had Simon Harris speak up at his more sound bites at his Ardesh talking about we need to build more houses. Where is the money to do it? This is a government that is out of ideas and out of time. Well, where would you have gotten all the money to do it? Because there will be people watching this evening who know that there's a general election coming at some point and who will think that all the proposals you just put are going to come out from the magical Sinn Féin money it's tree. It's not magical money tree. There is €24 billion Euro of a surplus at this point in time. We expect to be making surplus as you can see, every single year for the next f five years. We have been making surpluses over the last number of years. What's missing here isn't money, it is political will. We need to build social and affordable houses at scale. We need to make sure that people can purchase their homes at a reasonable cost. I put it to the Minister today that 100,000 people under the age of 40 do not now own their own home compared to when Fianna Gael took office. We can't afford another five years of Fianna Fáil or Fianna Gael. It is just too costly if to the state. If it had been you in government, would spending on the likes of the bike shed, the likes of modular housing for Ukrainian refugees, would that have been more efficiently managed? Do you have the scope to micromanage there, things like that? Listen, the minister sets the tone for the department. There is absolutely no way that we would stand over €336,000 for a bike shed, £1.4 million for a security hut. And look, the National Children's Hospital is a runaway train that not only the Minister for Health is all over, but also the Tisha Simon Harris, who actually signed the second stage contract himself. The Finance Minister, Jack Chambers, is coming up in just a few moments. What is the one point that you'd like him to address when he's speaking to Colette I would love to know why Jack Chambers thinks that the number of houses that he's planning to build next year is, is acceptable, given the fact that house ownership has collapsed Collapsed. Prices have gone up €100,000 since this government came into office four years ago, and okay. rents are going up at rates of about 1100 more every single okay. year. Time to hear from the Minister for now. Pierce Doherty, thank you very much for joining us.